So this is a Python program. So student validation. So here, user need to input name, age, email address. Then after that, uh, it checks for different types of validation. Okay, then it prints the details. Then the user can input another data, another student details. Uh, if the user input one, he can enter again. Otherwise, if he need to stop, then he, he can he need to input zero. At the end, it, it will display the average age of students. Okay. So here, when user input each and every data, it checks for some validation. That is a student validation program, okay? So total age is set to zero because this variable is used to store, but find the total age. Goes to find average total is needed here. Yeah, we need to find the total, then divide by the number of age, how many students, yeah. Choice is set to one. Because if you want to repeat, if you want to input another student details, then uh, that information, that option is stored inside choice variable. That's why count is used to uh, take the how, how many students are there because we need to find the average. So all these codes are inside this while loop. All these codes are inside while loop because uh, we need to repeat. Because if you want to input another student's name, then we need to, uh, the program need to repeat, yeah, that's why. So choice variable is used to store uh, the data. So when user need to enter another information of a student, then user need to input one. Look, the y is zero, that's why. So it stores inside choice variable. So at first choice is set to one. Total age and count is set to zero because total age we need to find the total age of students and count to count how many students. So we need to initialize it to zero and choice is one. Why? Because we need to input, uh, we need to enter the program, we need to enter this while loop. So this becomes uh, must be true. Yeah. So choice, if it is one, one not equal to zero, right? So it's not equal to zero. So it enters. Then count increment to one because we are going to input. The first student details, yeah. Enter your name, so the string. Input, enter your name, so you can input the name. It stores inside name variable. So this is presence check. This is presence check. So if while name equal to null, double equal to comparison operator, if the user input nothing, then it will not, uh, uh, what, forward. It will ask again and again, what, at first, it print invalid name and then it uh, displays entry your name. So if again, if the user uh, doesn't input anything, then what happened? Again, this message will display print invalid name and enter your name. So this is the condition because we need uh, here while loop is used here for presence check. While name double equal to null, if it is null, the user input null value. Then it print invalid and it, uh, it display a message to input, uh, enter your name again. So the user need to input uh, a name. So if, if the user input some name, then what happened? Yeah, name equal to, it is not null, yeah, because some name is there. So it exits, exits from this while loop. So here, after that, we need to input the age of student. So this is a range check actually. And also it checks whether a uh, data type check also. This is data type check. Because the uh, age is a number, yeah, it should be a digit, yeah. So while not age dot is digit, if it is not a digit, if you input some character, it's invalid. Or this is the so this is a data type check. It should be a digit, yeah. And uh, this uh, uh range check, it should be greater than zero. And less than 80. That means if this if the age is less than one or if it is greater than 80, it's invalid. So the age should be between one and 80, including one and 80. Okay. You understand? So if age 
in interface because we need to convert it into integer because here age uh, it stores as a string because no in, in here so we need to convert it to in and we need to check compare whether it is a negative number if it is zero or negative or it is a big number it's greater than 80 if, if any one of this satisfies age less than one or age greater than 80 for uh, range check or here if it is not a digit okay then what happened it points in valid age and it, uh, it displays message again in every age so user need to input the age again so it is also inside a while loop okay then uh, here if you if you input a proper name uh, age then it, uh, age need to convert into integer because we need to find the total average etc yeah. so here we can find the total this is total age. total age plus equal to age means uh, here it is a, this is a shorthand operator because uh, what is the meaning of this this is similar to total age equal to total age plus age we can write like this because we need, don't want to repeat total age twice here. So this is more efficient, okay? So here, total age plus age is totally, and uh, the result is stored again to total age. Then the user need to input email, email address. So here, for email validation, it, sh it should contain at the rate symbol, at the rate this, and also dot here. For example, uh, abz at c.com like that yeah so at the rate is must and dot is also must so if at the rate is not there inside this e in this email and this dot symbol is not there then what is the meaning of that it's invalid so these are the two checks here it checks for at the rate symbol and dot symbol if uh, there is no at the rate that is not in email at the rate while at the rate not in email or at a dot not in email it prints the message in valid email address and the user need to input email, valid email again, okay. So this is to print some, uh, this symbol, okay. Hyphen symbol 50 times, continuation, okay, uh, for, for readability. Then uh, it will print a message. If all are valid, that is uh, name, age, and uh, email. Congratulations, you have entered valid details. So it will display this message and it will print all the details, valid details, okay? Then again, uh, this hyphen symbol will display 50 times for readability. Then the user can choose. That means if the user need to input another student details, then the user need to input one option. And the one if you want to enter on those set of details. So it's, uh, stores inside choice. If, uh, if the user need to stop, then he can input zero to quit. So if he, he input one, what happened? Choice one comes here. One not equal to zero, right? So it repeats. This code again repeats for the second student. So if the user need to input another third student details, then what happened? Here again, choice, if it is one, then again, no money, no, one not equal to zero. So this code this statement repeats. So here we need to find the count. Why? Why count is uh, used here? Because we need to count how many students details entered, the user entered, yeah? Because that count is needed to find the average. So total age, we already found here, yeah, beside this. So after exit, exiting the while loop, this total age divided by the number of students details that's count so we can find the average and at the end it prints the average okay so i'm going to execute this program run one module or f5 shortcut name if i input uh, nothing look invalid email so business check so i am going to input a name age 23 okay so if i input uh Look invalid. This is data type check. It's not an integer, yeah. What happens if you input a decimal number? It's also invalid. You should input what a, an integer digit, okay? Integer only. That's why. So 23, fine. It's okay. Then email address. So abc.com. What happened? That is not there. Invalid. abz at com. 
dot is not there invalid okay a b z it's also invalid so when we input null nothing what happened it's also invalid so here again type a b z at d dot com okay fine this is valid yeah yeah congratulations we have uh and don't validate it your name, your name is Muhammad and you are out in three years old with the email address abc.com. Okay, fine. And on one, if you want to enter another set of student uh, details, uh, details or end of zero tickets. So I need to input another one. So I input uh, 23, age is 23. Yeah. So one, okay. So it will display. So I can input another name, uh, Ahmad. Age 25, email address bnc at uh, s dot com okay. and it is valid details okay so i need to get this zero so it will display the average that is 23 plus 25 whole divided by two yeah that is 24 yeah 23 plus 25 those two students so divided by the whole divided by two is 24 right so 24.0 so average, uh, we need to display it in decimal, so it should be accurate. So, so this is the result, okay? So here, average, we, we need to find the average, then automatically it stores in decimal value, okay, floating point, and it, it will print, okay? So this is a student validation program. Okay, thank you.